Here is a short video on my HHO torch design uh, since I had a few requests on how I made it and I'll give you a brief description of the parts and everything too. It's all brass pretty much besides for this copper uh, quarter inch line. Um, but let's go ahead and see what's inside this thing, how I designed it here. Okay, we have the torch handle disassembled and let's go over the parts real quick. Uh, this is actually just a cutoff valve, a 3 8 male into a 3 8 female for a hose quick connect. Um, and if you notice in here inside the thing, I put a little aerator screen mesh, stainless steel, and I used JB Weld to really seal it in there. That's just for the silicone gel to stop it from going back inside and the valve getting stuck or anything. But that's what that's for. You have to put that in there to stop the silicone gel from going down in the case there. And this is just a brass pipe, half inch in size, four inch long, with a, a female connector into a male, female to male. Um, and this is actually a half to three eighths reducer. And you can see the pop pipe is hollow there. And this is a half by half coupler, uh, female. And what I did with this, this is the actual silicone gel. Um, you can actually buy it pet smart. Um, and all it is is for kitty litter. You pour it in their box and it actually absorbs the moisture very well. These are, this is the stuff that's in those little packets that you see in vitamins and stuff to keep the moisture out of the bottle. But you can get it for very cheap. And what you do is you just fill up the pipe with it. This whole pipe is filled up with it. And it's a, actually an extra dryer agent for the fumes coming through. And this right here is a brass fitting, a quarter inch to a half inch and this green thing right here is just a fish bubbler rock which you can buy at the aquarium store um, it's I think it's a pack of two that I got and what I did was just cut it off at the end and then it fits perfect inside this half inch and you just squeeze it on down in there and it's a very snug tight fit so it acts as a very good uh, backflash arrester and then you have your copper pipe here, quarter inch in size. I just cut a little size here and bent it. And then you have your quarter by quarter connector here. And then this is the actual tip, 0.6 millimeter in size. And this is actually used for a welder. So what I did was I cut it down. And this is what it normally looks like right here it has threads on the end so I just cut the threads off because you won't be able to fit it into the housing here so be very careful with those tips and really you shouldn't be touching it with your fingers um, because it contains lead so when you're cutting it make sure you have a very good filtered mask on and safety glasses because you don't want to get that on you or breathe that in but that's the whole design right there. And this is the actual welder tips. It's from Lincoln Electric and I purchased those I believe at Home Depot. And it comes in like a, a pack of tin. So, and that's all there is to it. And when you buy the connectors here, make sure it has the brass, the brass fitting that's already built onto the cap. Because this thing will just slide right into it perfect. And then once you tighten it down, it's going to lock it down on to the coupler and seal it. Completely seal it off from any leaks. So the gas will come through that hole. Okay? Let me know what you think. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.